Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavakin Associates, doing our community spotlight video here today with Connor here at uh, Brees Stadium, Brees Stevens Field, excuse me, uh, right along East Washington Avenue and Patterson Street, kind of right downtown near the Isthmus here. So tell us a little more about this place and what makes it unique. Well, thanks for being here, Josh. Yeah, Brees Stevens Field was built in 1926. Brees Stevens was actually the mayor of Madison in the late 1800s, 1888 to 1889. Uh, he sold and donated this land uh, to the city. It was a, kind of a swamp land, became a park. 1926, it was built into a stadium. Uh, 1935 is the newer part of the stadium that was built mm -hmm. down that way. And then uh, our group, uh, Big Top Events, took over the facility uh, in 2016, and, uh, or 2015, I should say. Uh, and then in 2019, we brought professional soccer here. And in order to bring professional soccer uh, to the facility, we partnered with the city on about three and a half million dollars uh, in improvements. We have new uh, suite areas, uh, concessions, restroom, upgraded seating, um, and you know we're fortunate to host about 240 events here uh, every year. Uh, so not just soccer? Not just soccer, yeah. No. We, we, when we took over the facility in 2015, we knew it needed a primary tenant. Sure. Um, it, but we didn't know exactly what that would be. We actually took over the business without having a business plan, uh, but we knew we wanted to do community events and concerts and athletic uses. And then in 2018, we announced that we were bringing pro soccer here. In 2019, we launched uh, with pro soccer. So we'll play about 20, uh, you know, in a non-pandemic year, 20 right. uh, pro soccer games here, but then have concerts and high school athletic uses, community uses, uh, festivals, beer festivals, food festivals, music festivals, uh, and a variety of different uses to program about 240 different uh, uses of the facility a year. Wow, that's quite a few, uh, quite a few events throughout the year. Holy cow, what are uh, maybe some of the top three or four highlighted events that somebody might uh, come out here for? Yeah, so in addition to soccer, you, you know, we'll have about between three to six national touring acts a year, musical acts a year. Uh, you know, earlier, earlier this year we had, um, you know, Willie Nelson and the Avid Brothers. We've had Steve Miller Band, Darius Rucker, Toby Keith, about 20 different touring national acts have played the facility. We have a capacity for 10,000 for field events, okay. 5,000 uh, for athletic events. So, uh, you, you know, concerts are a big deal. Also, we're the home for the Madison Radicals, the ultimate Frisbee okay. uh, team, which is one of the better uh, professional ultimate Frisbee teams in the entire country. Wow. Uh, but then we'll do a variety of other festivals as well. We've done uh, beer festivals. We did a, a seltzer and cider festival this year. Uh, we always do a Mexican Independence Day celebration. Um, and then because uh, of COVID, we hosted Taste of Madison here, here this year oh, off sure. the square and we hosted concerts on the square as well. So, you know, it's really nice to have four walls, yeah. seating, power, restrooms, stuff that mm -hmm. if you were in a, you know, a temporary site, you wouldn't have. And mm -hmm. so the great thing about the facility, it's a turf field and mm -hmm. uh, we can do pretty much anything. It's common for us to do a concert on a Friday night and by Saturday night, we'll be playing uh, soccer and have 5,000 people in here for soccer. Wow, that's like, a lot of stuff going on, you guys, uh, and you did all came in with with very little business plan, just to try to figure it out, jumped right in. Huh? Yeah, I wouldn't suggest that to others, but we we, <laughs> we knew it was a cool facility. We just didn't yeah. know what we would do with it. Yeah, um, and, and then it's just kind of created itself, and now mm -hmm. uh, you know pro soccer has become a big part of, of what we do. It is that primary tenant. That's the schedule kind of falls mm -hmm. around yeah. those 18 to 20 pro soccer games a year. Yeah, and we're fortunate to just uh, we're really fortunate the way that the community has embraced. Mm -hmm. uh, Ford Madison and, and the pro soccer product that we've, we've put on the field here. Yeah, I know I've driven past this facility, I don't know how many times on East Washington Avenue, yeah. and it's definitely, you know, one of those iconic sort of structures and you drive by and you always kind of wonder what's going on in there, right? Because it's kind of hard to see inside yeah. from, from the outside, but... Uh, kind of, you know, now that it's redone, but prior to yeah. that, it kind of had like a prison feel to it, right? These sure. big concrete walls, you don't know what's going on behind it. Yeah. Uh, it's got a, you know, a great history. Uh, yeah. You know, Jesse Owens ran a track exhibition here in the 1930s. There used to be, uh, you know, minor league baseball in the 1940s and 50s. Uh, there was uh, stock car and midget car races going on here. Oh, in wow. 1933, they closed uh, East Washington Avenue and the entire facility and they had a, a Calgary stampede, uh, like, like a horse and, 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 uh, and cow show. So um, a lot of cool things that have happened here, but, but now it's primarily um, a soccer and community events yeah. facility. And it's cool to have, you know, this old historic facility uh, that's just nine blocks from the Capitol. Yeah, literally nine blocks away. I mean, it's, it feels like you're right downtown and so connected to so many other things and 
go easy, easily grab restaurant uh, somewhere and come to come to the soccer game afterwards. And yeah, check it out. if we had to pick a, a place to locate a pro soccer stadium, yeah, anywhere in Madison, this is where it would be. So we're just really yeah. fortunate to have it in this great district, great neighborhood, so close to the to the capital. Well, Connor, hey, I really appreciate you coming on the show and uh, and sharing with us a little bit more about Bree Stevens and the history here and uh, make sure we can uh, get some of our viewers to come check out a game or, or an event sometime. Sounds great, Josh. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Again, this is Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates, and you're watching Best of Wisconsin Homes.